Okay, carrying on the second part, I'd reached the uh, video size limit on the first one. So we've got these four items here that we want to add up as our total deductions, okay? So quite straightforward, you click on the function button over here, okay, click sum, and you get that, and you just highlight them all like that. Push enter on the keyboard, easiest way, and your total de de deductions are seen there. So your net pay is your gross annual income minus your deductions. So you do equals that, I'm just clicking on it, I type in minus on the keyboard, that there okay so my net pay is here so my monthly take on pay would be equals that divided by 12 and my weekly would be equals that divided by 50 oops 52 okay so that's not formatted so it's another good way you can just click up here go on to the those you know you want to make them so sort of consistent you can see that it's a little bit um, you've got some in bold and some not, you know, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. But all those figures, and you will watch if, if say, you change the salary here, okay, you can see that things will, will update. Well, the good thing about this is if you go down here, if you do, if you notice when you go to the bottom right-hand corner, there's like a little, you know, um, square there that you can use. You can do this for all of them, provided the salary isn't in the top tax bracket because that would require more calculations because that one is less. You won't have to do that. The video I'll do following this will show you how to do things more complicated. So I'm highlighting all four there, across. You can do this with all of them, okay? The only thing it does is change the color, so you can change the color back if you want to, but it's up to you. And I'm gonna highlight all those there. Copy them across, okay, notice things start to go a little bit wrong, and I'll tell you why in a second, okay, with these parts up here. Okay, so what you'll need to do with those is, okay, when you do it, it just doesn't like some of the figures where you've got them here. So it's saying A equals C42. So if we go down and look at C42, we can see that that's gone wrong there. Now the reason that's gone wrong is because that is multiplying by that and it's giving you the wrong answer. So where you've got these obvious mistakes, just go back here and do calculation again. So equals <clears throat> that times that there and things will start to to look a little bit better, okay? I think it's only probably that one that causes the issue for you um, when I tested it. But you could obviously see by the size of the... Uh, a good way to test is put the same figure in there. Okay, all right, so something somewhere has gone slightly wrong. So here, okay, we've got a, a sort of a different calculation going on here, so we need to work this out. So. Let's go back through it. So we've got C5, yeah, divided by 52, that looks right. So why is this slightly different? The same amount, All right, it would help if I typed right one in there. So here we go, I shouldn't have had that typo. Everything else is matching up, hopefully, so you know that. So we can change this back to 27,000. And there you go, you've got this data that can now be used to copy and paste it across in sections to your um, to your work. Okay, you can turn it into graphs quickly. There are more videos um, on that. Okay, so this video kind of replaces those four shorter ones that were giving you problems. If you if you get stuck, watch it again, pause it, do it step by step. You only have to follow the tutorial and the instructions to be able to do this.